when the Guam Police Department executed a search warrant at KUAM Studios yesterday. This is related to an ongoing theft complaint. Alarms went off in the minds of most journalists across the island, indignant about their rights being violated as the voice of the people. A group out of Oakland, California called First Amendment Project advocates freedom of information. We interviewed a staff counsel who spoke about a federal privacy act Congress passed in 1980, which afforded journalists certain protections. What Congress is trying to do in that way is trying to tell law enforcement that if you want information from news gatherers, uh, news organizations, or even individual journalists, that you need to do it by way of a subpoena rather than a search warrant. It doesn't mean that, gov that law enforcement is never going to get the information. It just means they have to do it through a different procedure then. A subpoena did not take place first. Guam Police's Special Agent A.V. Camacho said the department does not have the authority to obtain subpoenas. Whatever took place inside the KUAM studios that led to the police action has prompted much public dialogue. You know, which, which one would you act most vigorously to defend of those three? Your individual rights, the rights of the police to be able to conduct an investigation without any interference, freedom of, uh, of the press to be able to investigate, gather information, however they may gather it, and then publish that information. However one feels about that one, one thing is for sure. More facts about what exactly happened need to surface before this issue can even begin to get settled.